Hi! Our topic for this lesson is, the Cartesian plane, and coordinates. You need just 5 minutes, to complete this lesson. Let us see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify, and draw the position of points, on a number line. 2. Locate points, on the Cartesian plane. 3. Plot points, on the Cartesian plane. Let us now proceed. A number line, is simply, a straight line, containing series of positive and negative numbers, with the number 0 in the center, known as, the origin. A number line can be horizontal, or vertical. Now, to locate a point on a horizontal number line, we start from the origin, 0. Movement can either be, to the right, which is positive, or to the left of the origin, which is negative. Also, to locate a point in a vertical number line, we start from the origin, 0. Movement can either be, up, which is positive, or down the origin, which is negative. Let us now solve some problem. Locating points, on a number line. Example 1. Locate the points, A3, B-1, C5, and, D-2, on a horizontal number line. Solution. First, we position our horizontal number line, as shown on the board. Now, A, 3, means, A, is 3 units, to the right of 0. B, minus 1, means, B, is 1 unit, to the left of 0. C, 5, means, C, is 5 units to the right of 0. And, D, minus 2, means, D, is 2 units, to the left of 0. That's very good. Now, let us locate points, on a Cartesian plane. To locate the positions of points, in a Cartesian plane, we use the horizontal, and vertical number lines, together. For example, let us locate the positions of the letters, A, B, and C, in the Cartesian plane, on the board. Solution. A, is in position, 6 units to the right, and 8 units up. B, is in position, 6 units to the left, and 2 units up. And C, is in position, 4 units to the right, and 4 units down. Note that, the numbers that represent the positions, are called, coordinates. And the arrangement of the pairing, is known as, ordered pairs. Finally, let us plot points, on the Cartesian plane. To plot a point, means to draw its position, on a Cartesian plane. To do this, we take the following steps. 1. Start at the origin. 2. Move along the x-axis, by the amount and direction, given by the x-coordinate, of the point. And 3. Move up or down, towards the y-axis, by the amount and the direction, given by the y-coordinate, of the point. Let us see our final example. Example 3. Plot the positions. P, minus 1, 2. R, 2, 6. And Q, minus 5, minus 5, on a Cartesian plane. Solution. First, we display our Cartesian plane, as shown on the board. Notice it has the x-axis and the y-axis. Now, to plot position P, minus 1, 2, we start from the origin, move left, along the x-axis, to minus 1. Then, we move at the y-axis, to 2. 
to plot position R, 2, 6. We start from the origin, move right, along the x-axis to 2. Then, we move at the y-axis, to 6. And to plot position Q, minus 5, minus 5, we start from the origin, move left, along the x-axis, to minus 5. Then, we move down the y-axis, to minus 5. That's brilliant. Now, pause this video, copy these assignments, and solve them in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. How to locate the position of points, on a number line. 2. How to locate points, on the Cartesian plane. And 3. How to plot points, on the Cartesian plane. I hope you enjoyed the class. See you, in the next lesson. Thanks, and goodbye.